Hello and welcome back to my RC channel. I'm Andy RC and today I'm going to be checking out some new cool stuff from Runcam. Yes, Runcam have been working away in the background again on some fantastic products and the first one I've got here is actually the Micro Swift version 3. Now I already did a review on this guy but they're saying this is the retail version which I think is interesting because it's quite a bit different than the version that I received. If we take a look at it here it's actually using a full-size lens and it's considerably heavier so this is weighing 10 grams I think your micro swift usually weighs about 5.6 to 6 grams so I hope that they're gonna release both of them because this has got a 2.1 mil lens and I think it's the M12 size but don't quote me on that I find that even though you can technically screw a lot of the different run cam lenses in their other cameras they do specifically design their lenses for each camera so yeah uh, other than that though it does seem to be the same so we've got the TX and RX so that you can do your camera controls direct through to beta flight and I showed how to do that on the last video so I'll link that in the below because I don't want to go over stuff that I've already covered but yeah I think the voltage range is the same so 5 to 36 volts there yeah and everything's in the same place there on screen display built into it as well like I said I'll link that in the below to the original video and then we've got your usual wire harness here and then we've got mounting and we've got some screws in there as well actually let's just take a look at what's at the end of this because on the one that I got there was actually a connector there but that doesn't seem to be the case with this one it's like a three pin connector and you could plug in your usual run cam and that's not on this one and they say this is the retail one so there you go run cam if you're watching release both of them because I'll always go for the lightweight one over a bigger lens because you know it's a CCD camera anyway so we're not gonna get too many advantages from that but yeah that is the first one this is the micro swift v3 CCD camera and yeah nothing new on this is the PAL version so the next one also looks like a camera doesn't it but it's not this is a VTX it's an update to their TX200 they're calling this one the TX200U and it looks very similar to the last one except if I just take it out we've got an extra wire they've added smart audio to it as well so this green wire here that's going to go to a TX pad on your flight controller and you'll be able to have smart audio now there's no instructions here you have to go online and download them and it's a little bit unclear if I'm honest because if you remember the original TX200 they said it was a switching VTX but it wasn't some channels were 25 milliwatt and other channels were 200 milliwatt and that is the same case with this one in fact you have to press the button down it says wait for a red light and then it's unlocked and I guess that means you can use all of the channels they've also told you what the presets are as well so it's actually using the tramp rather than smart audio and yet yeah, the presets that are in beta fly on screen display they link up differently so a couple of them are 25 milliwatt and a few of the others are 200 milliwatt I'm not sure how that works though because I think each channel is locked to its own power output so you can just change the channel through the on-screen display but I think you're gonna have to look at that chart to know what power that you're gonna be getting out of it but yeah this is designed to piggyback on the back of a micro swift of course and we have got the brackets and the cable on the back there to do that so yeah nothing too different there just the addition of smart audio but I think it's fantastic to see that they are making these changes and progressing because I think smart audio on a VTX it, it's kind of become the standard now I think almost anyways I think we're almost there right so what do we have next well yeah they have been adding these camera controls to 
the Runcan cameras and I think people are getting annoyed because they have their old camera now that doesn't have that. So what they have done is they've come up with a new circuit board that you can add to most of the existing run cams. This sticker thing isn't very good. Look at that! Come on, I'm trying to get into it. Um, jump cut! Right, well that's ruined that, hasn't it? But let's take a look at what you get in here because it looks like we've got some instructions in here. So that's just showing you how to set up camera control, so you're going to need a spare UART. It's a very, very tiny circuit board, and it requires 5 volts as well. So, you know, you're going to be using some of your 5 volt amperage on the back of your flight controller, so you know you have to re remember that. For me, I think I'm just going to go and buy the cameras that have got it built in already, because, well you know it's going to be less aggro but if you do really want camera controls this is going to give you the option to have it on a UART again it takes up a UART and there is a diagram how to do this so I'll just overlay that over the top of there so you can see what connections you have to make but then we've also got a heat shrink and some spare cables in there as well and there's also a sticky pad, I guess, for sticking it maybe to the back of your camera if you like. Yeah, I'll put a chart down here so you can see the cameras that are and are not supported because not all of them are, which I think is unfortunate. Right, last but not least, and I think this is a big one, this, because this is something that I've been after for quite some time and I think a lot of people have as well. So... You can see actually on this branding, it says Speedy Bee. This is a partner of Runcam. And Speedy Bee have built a Bluetooth adapter which will connect to another UART if you've got any spare ones left. And you can actually connect to Betaflight. So we've got this cable here. So essentially, you make one of your UARTs into a transmittable USB COM port and then that can be read by another Bluetooth device. However, they've gone one further than that. They've created an app. This is the Speedy Bee app. And basically, it'll give you all of your Betaflight settings. Now, I know Runcam works very closely with Betaflight, so I'm hoping that this app gets updated as often as Betaflight Configurator does because it's kind of going to need to to keep up with the pace. But I think this is a great idea. And you also get given a heat shrink. We've got another sticky pad here, and we have got a manual here. Oh, so. There you go, shows you exactly there how to connect it up to your flight controller. So that is all the new stuff that is coming out from Runcam. Let me know which you would like to see checked out first. It's raining at the moment, unfortunately, so I can't do that today. So I'm just doing a show and tell. But I do think some of these are actually available to buy now if you want to check them out yourself. I'll link them in the below. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Please continue to subscribe. Cheers.